What's happening everybody? What's up guys? So it's day number three on our fishing tour here in Florida. Today we're fishing out of Fort Myers. That's right people and today we're out here with our buddy. This is Robbie Lacey What's right up? here. <laughs> Smokehouse Charters, right? Yep. That's right. Smokehouse Charters. Smokehouse Charters. So Robbie is fellow Florida Fishing Products family right. and he's down here in Fort Myers. Robbie does pretty much everything in your nice little action craft right here. That's right. Action craft 1720 fly fisher. <laughs> That's right people. So Robbie does snook, tarpon, uh, pompano, redfish, everything. But today, people, daddy's hungry for some sushi. So hopefully, we gonna do some pompano fishing. That's yep. what we're gonna do. You guys, this is the first time actually we've ever targeted pompano on our channel, so super stoked today. We're gonna get out here. Don't know what else we're gonna get into. Maybe some snapper. There's a lot of trout to be caught and definitely getting some pompano in the boat. So cruising out to the first spot today. Beautiful weather out, not as windy as the last few days. You ready to get some sushi? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's it's do coming. it. Let's do it. Yep, Jeff even has his soy sauce. So we're about That's to right. do a little catch and cook and some sushi on the boat today. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, people, first spot, here we go. All right, people, here we go. First setup of the day is gonna be this little pompano jig. Looks like a little 1 8 ounce, kind of like a 1 8 ounce bucktail. And then we tipped it with some fresh shrimpy. So this right here is probably one of the most popular uh, pompano jigs. Just, you know, something small, we're gonna imitate a shrimp. So uh, we got a little bit of scent going on here with the live shrimp. That's what gets it done here in the land of Florida. So fishing some lighter action tackle today, like 2000 series, lighter tackle on the pop now. Yeah, right? There's a fish. Oh yeah, that feels like a pompano running towards the boat. All right, y'all, first fish of the morning. What do we have? And it is a little mangrove snapper. <laughs> Dang, if you was a few inches bigger, you would be some fish tacos. And I got my shrimp back. I like to think of it. Something. Speckle trout. There you go. Oh, That's okay. a trout. Not a bad one for. All right, people. Species number three. Got a little speckled trout, actually. Yeah. Let's see if a dolphin comes up and grabs this guy. Let's see if the boat flip him. Yeah, right. Dang, did that guy get thrashed on the other side? Looks like it. Oh my gosh. Feels Look at like that. It. Yep. All right, y'all. So species number three at our first spot. Check this out. That's a good trout too. Probably not, 18, 19 inches. Yeah, not a bad one, but oh my gosh. Yeah, that guy got toe <laughs> up. All right, buddy. Hopefully you can grow up and be a gator. Not I think he fun. will. He's a survivor. Keep jamming TLC, bro. I heard yesterday there was some big, big snook on the beaches, like really uptight. So that might be a thing. If That's we... awesome. We're up here. I feel like I'm on like a travel channel, like yeah. top beaches <laughs> documentary. These, <laughs> these are like Lover Key is one of the most famous beaches like in Florida. You know, you look at the top 10 list or whatever. Lover's yeah. Key is that one that's right down there. Oh, okay. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but this water is crystal clear. There's nature's fish finder right there. Yo, Miss Pelican, where the fish at? Got a jack right up in the mangroves on the shrimp. I know, I was hoping it was a pompano. Nice little jack. Crazy. Should I flip him up in? Sure. Sweet. There you go. All right, guys, first. Nah, we're working our way up the fish ladder. Fish of the day. <laughs> Still, uh, would be considered attractive. Hey, I took a jack. I like jack or both. I know. Little hook. All right. See you later, Jack. I'll get bigger. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Oh. 
That's a big fish. Okay. Oh! oh. That looks like no, no, no. Dang it, I pulled him out and then he. Oh! Let's see if I can get back up in there. Oh, leave that there. Leave it there? Yeah. It, it's... Yes. Just trust me. <laughs> How will I get him out? Trust it, me. It will happen. Always does. Really? Oh. Yep. Someone's on it. Oh, yep. there he is, yep. folks. All right, guys. Got a snook on. Yeah. Right up in the mangroves. Second time's a charm. Oh, he broke oh, me up. Oh. A snook and red spot. Yep. Oh, I don't know. We're about to find out what's on the end of my line. Hello. All right. First. What do you got? Okay. I don't know. It feels like something good. Nice sheep. Sheep head? All right, people. Smile and wave, Christy. Look at the camera. <laughs> Say hey. All Actually, right. don't wave. We need this fish. Yeah, sheep head on board. Ooh, very nice. That's what's up, guys, right here in these. Mangroves pulling in some fish. Now, time we get some quality fish on deck. Just that hook All back. Our All right, people. So, not the target species of Pompano, but we are not complaining in the least bit. All right, guys, fishing up in these mangroves. Just pulled in this quality sheep's head right here. About time we get some meat in the cooler. Caught a some bunch of meat. trout today, a couple of these guys, and a bunch of jacks. Been an awesome day so far, you guys. Beautiful out here. And Captain Robbie. That's getting right. it done. Yep, smokehouse charters, right? That's right. Smokehouse charters, getting it done, and a little shrimp on a Dang. one eighth ounce jig head. That right there is <laughs> ceviche. <laughs> Are you gonna cook them up? Yeah, you better believe it. Nice. All right, well, this guy is going home in the cooler. So, Robbie, so you're saying that these uh, sheep's head right here, they'll kind of just roam right on the outside of these oh, mangroves? Absolutely. This, this particular island, as you can see, has a lot of overhanging trees. And those trees get growth on them with barnacles that these guys like to munch on. And the other thing that they're doing is they're sitting underneath these mangroves waiting for mangrove crabs to fall out. Oh. And they'll come up and scoop those things right up. Dang. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sweet. Right there, get All right, it guys. Down. Let's catch some more. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Take wow. me for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, either redfish, sheep's head. I don't know what I've got on here. I'm surprised these dolphins haven't scared away all of our fish yet. Is that a, oh, a little sheep's head. Do y'all have any? Very nice. All right, number two in this spot right here seems like it's pretty soon. There's tons of dolphins just like circling around, so it's definitely. A lot of life over here, definitely getting into them, and these mangroves. It's so cool how many species of fish that you can catch right up in these mangroves. Anything from snapper, pompano, trout, redfish, sheep's head. The whole gamut. The whole gamut, and all on the same bait. Just throw some live shrimp, and you guys can catch them up. Is he going home? If you want, he's going home. You want all of them? Cooler, please. Cool. You want all of them? Cooler, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, back at the dock after an awesome day out on the water with Captain Robbie with Smoke House Charters here in Fort Myers. And y'all, what an epic day out there. Fish in the mangroves, such a blast getting on. Tons of different species today, but got a bunch of the sheephead right behind me, and Jeff is about to fillet them up. Oh my gosh, we have tons of buddies. All over, just waiting. Very nice size for eating. I think I gotta watch my back for these guys. Y'all, we gotta watch our backs with these pelicans. <laughs> All right, you wanna give us the lowdown on how to best fillet these fish? Yeah, so typically I like to come in at kind of an angle. I work around their rib cage rather than going straight through it like a lot of guys do. And then I come up here at the top. You need a really, really sharp tip here and you're just gonna start feeding down that backbone here just to get that first cut. You got a lot more to compete with. Um, so. I hope you didn't want that. Oh, are you all right? Yeah. Get out of here. Anyway, back to the filet table. Sorry for that quick intermission of these attack of the birds. Oh my gosh. All right. 
back to you, Jeff. <laughs> I don't think I've, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this amount of pelicans. I know. that's uh, why I'm like having a hard time filming you. I'm just worried about getting eaten alive over here. All right, back to this play. Look at that nice dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Boom. Nice, look at that filet. Beautiful. You guys, I have to use this as my weapon to defend myself against all these crazy pelicans. <laughs> All right, y'all, there it is. That's some beautiful sheep's head meat right there. Ceviche, fish tacos. All right, so here we go. Here's all of our oh. fillets that we just caught out on the water. Some fresh, um, some fresh sheep head right here. We're stopping at one of our very favorite um, grocery stores, Publix, and we're gonna grab some limes, some cilantro, yep. anything really that's gonna make this ceviche taste awesome. Since we are on the road, we don't have access to a kitchen. Got to do a little improv while we're driving. So we're starving, we've got our truck bed, and we're gonna make this work, right babe? That's right, we're gonna do a little parking lot catch and cook. Yes. Fort Myers style. Yep. Fort Myers Beach, pretty cool. Check it out, look at the scenery. Yeah, check this out, y'all. Say what's up to the bikers. Masked up, got to run into Publix really quick. Grab some supplies, we're gonna be right back out and do a little ceviche catch and cook in the parking lot. <laughs> It's, gonna it's going down. All right, let's go. Okay, here it is. Parking lot ceviche. So we've got our sheep head fillets right here. And all we're doing is we're just gonna cut this up into little little bite-sized chunks. Uh, as you can see, this, you know, we're just making do with what we got. I promise this is gonna taste <laughs> really good. Just like that. So whenever you guys are making ceviche, you want it to be submerged in the lime juice because the acidity actually cooks the fish. So right now we have three uh, limes and so we're going to be putting them all in there and that way it's really sitting in the juice and cooking. By the way, we are currently making this outside in the parking lot at Publix. So we're on a, a TV show. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're doing. Like a Bear like, Girls No, we're on like one wild. of those Iron Chef TV shows. Oh. You have to like make a, yes, a stellar recipe. Yes, with whatever you have, with like random ingredients. So all right, there we go. There it is, lime juice. Get that all up in there. So usually, you would want this to sit. Some people say an hour. Uh, some people say a few hours. Honestly, this sheep head, it's almost, in my opinion, like sushi grade meat. That's my opinion. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let this sit for about five minutes. And in the meantime, I have our little uh, fish tacos. All right, y'all, so here we got some... Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. And then we've got some... Some salsa. Some salsa, you guys. Publix salsa and de gallo. Can't get any more fresh than that. There we go. Boom. Put that in there just like that. And then, just to add a little bit more flair, we're some gonna do salsa. some salsa. And we're gonna add some salsa right there wow, that oh smells my gosh. good. why didn't we get some chips all right y'all and then what i'm gonna do is just mix this all around just like this and this right here is going to be the bomb parking lot sandwich. and check this out this right here is epic guys here we have oh my gosh this smells amazing Look at this sheep's head. Sheep head, look how fresh that is. There we go, load me up. So you guys saw this took probably five minutes, maybe 10 minutes total to make. And I'll take three please. Look how fresh and delicious this is. Can't get any more fresh than this. This is better than a restaurant quality. I'm telling y'all. You guys don't Boom. even need to go out to the restaurant. Just right in the Publix parking lot. A fishing pole and a Publix and you guys are all set. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Wow. Look at how good look this how looks. Look how fancy we are. There it is. Sheep said ceviche, that looks baby. so good. Taste test. Most amazing thing you've ever had? Yeah. Not lying. <laughs> so good. It looks so good. It smells amazing. You cannot get more fresh ingredients than that. I'm going to tell you all right now. We didn't let it cook. I'm going to be honest. Because I'm really hungry. It does not taste in the least bit fishy at all. Mm. 
One it more. just smells so good. All right. You're gonna... Look at this, y'all. <laughs> that right there does not taste fishy at all. These right here, we're putting a new meaning, people, to street tacos. Yep, These literally right. making them in the street. Legit. Delish. So good. Guys, Delish. you have to try this. Seriously, go out, catch yourself some fish, make some street tacos right here in the parking lot. We want to see y'all do this too because just get creative. <laughs> After a day of fishing, this is so great. We're so classy. Babe, what a killer day out there in the water. Captain Robbie, you guys, with Smokehouse Charters. Y'all, pretty much anything snook, any of your inshore stuff, even some offshore stuff, you might get a little saucy, but if you guys want a good time, come out here and fish with Captain Robbie. Yep, and make yourself <laughs> some amazing ceviche. Yes. In the parking lot. All yep. right, people, that's all you got for today. All right, guys. Peace out. Peace out.